G'day and welcome to MW Laser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this remote unit to pulse your laser from the laser power supply. This is very handy when you're aligning your mirrors so that you don't have to keep coming back to the power supply to pulse the laser while you're trying to adjust mirrors on the other side of the machine. You can still control the uh, laser head movement from the laser controller, but you won't be able to pulse the laser from there. Uh, while this is plugged in, the unit will only pulse by using the momentary button on the top uh, and I have a safety switch here so that it won't pulse if the switch is off. So with the switch on, we can pulse the laser and we have a potentiometer there to dial down the uh, laser power to the desired level just so that we get enough to make a small mark on our tape that we're trying to pulse onto and align our mirrors that way. Another method that I will show you does not use the potentiometer or the uh, safety switch but it will only deliver 100% power uh, to the laser tube so we'll get quite a big dot and, and that's not ideal. So if you are making one of these I do recommend that you use the one with the potentiometer and a safety switch so that you don't accidentally pulse the laser while it's being moved around or walking around. Also in doing that, I want to say, please don't disable any of the safety mechanisms or door switches on your laser machine. And uh, while you're aligning mirrors, wear the safety glasses so that you'd protect your eyes. One thing that this unit does do is override the water protect for your laser power supply. So it's very important to make sure that the water is running while you're using this unit because the laser power won't shut down. It won't detect that there's no water running through the laser tube. So ensure that your water is running and uh, then you can safely use this unit. In the description below, you'll see a disclaimer about the electrical wiring. Now, if you're not competent or confident in doing this sort of wiring yourself, then please do not attempt it. So let's have a look what we need. First of all, we need some a wire, uh, some connectors, and I'm using this box here to uh, house the potentiometer and the switches in. The uh, other thing that you'll need is a Phoenix, a six pin connector to connect into your laser power supply. Uh, these are available on uh, AliExpress. Also a momentary switch, and uh, we have the potentiometer and the safety switch. So this is our wiring diagram. We have a five volt input going into our potentiometer down here. The middle one goes to the uh, input on the laser power supply and that's the blue cable and then the black cable is our ground. So that's our potentiometer wiring and they get connected onto the green Phoenix connector. In between the ground and the WP, which is the water protect, we have a jumper which overrides the water protect for the laser power supply. So it's very important that you have your water chiller running or your water pump running and that there's water flow into the laser tube to protect it while you're using this unit. The yellow lines here are the uh, pulse switch and the safety switch and the L and WP, they get connected directly to those switches as uh, shown in this wiring diagram. So the unit would look like this and the white cable is our little jumper. Now, before we uh, connect it all up, make sure that the safety switch is off and that the potentiometer is dialed all the way down. Turn off the laser power supply and the machine and remove it from the 240 or your mains power supply. Next, we can disconnect the laser control panel from the laser power supply and just pop that one aside. Now we can connect our new remote uh, Phoenix connector into the laser power supply. Now note that different power supplies have different pin outputs, so it's important to check yours. We have on this one a high signal, low signal, a P for water protect, a G for ground, the input and a five volt output. So just check that compared to the wiring diagram that I showed you earlier. Okay, so I've got the manual box here plugged into the laser power supply. I've got a piece of scrap wood there underneath the laser nozzle. We've got our um, laser power supply on. We also need to ensure that our water is circulating. So that was the chiller turning on, so we've got water pumping through the laser. And now we have our safety switch here, so it is now on, so it's ready to fire. So with the potentiometer dialed all the way down to minimum, then if we press and hold the uh, pulse button, we'll see that nothing comes out milliamps on our laser. And if we slowly dial it up, 
we want to get it just enough to pulse the laser like that. So now we are getting a small pulse on the timber. So when you've got a machine this size you need a nice long lead on it so that you can get from one side to the other and uh, you can just uh, control the laser using the buttons on the control panel itself. The laser power or pulse button on here is disabled because we have this manual switch plugged in. So we can still control the movements of the laser head and uh, do our pulsing when we want to. Just always ensure that you wear safety glasses when you're using uh, the uh, laser machine with the covers open or if you've disabled any of the safety switches. So that's the method that I use with the potentiometer and the safety switch. I'm going to show you the wiring of the unit without those safety features. Without the potentiometer, like I say, the laser will fire at 100% as long as you press the button. And that's not ideal when you're trying to line your laser. You want to have a small dot so that you can see where it's firing. And also the safety switch so that you don't accidentally bump it. So let's have a look at the wiring diagram without this unit. So this unit here is without the potentiometer to control the laser power supply as well as the safety switch. And as you can see the momentary switch, which is a normal open momentary switch. So when you press it, it closes the circuit to L and P. We also have the jumper in between P and G for the water protect override. So thanks for visiting MW Laser. I hope you enjoyed the video on making this remote pulsing unit for your laser tube so that you can use it to align your mirrors. Now the connection for this one uh, is the same as the Chinese red and black so I can use it on both machines. The potentiometer allows me to adjust the power output from the laser tube and the safety switch so that I don't accidentally bump it or if it drops on the floor it won't pulse the laser. Just remember that it does have a water protect override, so make sure that the water is flowing through your laser tube to keep it cool and protect it from breakage. In the description below, you'll see a disclaimer about the electrical wiring. Now, if you're not competent or confident in doing this sort of wiring yourself, then please do not attempt it. Uh, the components, there's a list in the description below and you can purchase those from AliExpress and there's also a manual laser control from Cloudray Laser if you wanted to purchase that. You'll just need to modify it to uh, get it to this sort of length of lead etc. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't already press the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. Whether it be for this machine or for the Chinese red and black which I've got some upgrades coming to it very soon. And until next time, take care. Cheers.